How's it going guys? We are back with another Anthem video and today we're going to be talking about alliances and some news that's been circulating around. If you find this video useful, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, share, it does help the channel's growth and it does allow the video to reach more freelancers out there just like you spreading the word of Anthem. So we've just had actual confirmation from Bio Chris on the Anthem Discord that the alliance system is definitely not clan and guilds. Info on the clan and guilds will be coming soon but as of right now there is an NDA so they can't talk about it. So it's confirmed, Alliance is Alliance, it is a system and not a guild. But how does it work? What is an Alliance? Alliance essentially picks your top 5 friends from your friends list playing Anthem and then rewards them with coin, the earned in-game currency used to buy cosmetics from the microtransaction store. You don't have to do anything to take advantage of the Alliance system other than play the game and be friends with people who play the game. It's that simple. In regards to rewards, you get rewarded more the more you play and less the less you play. It's an incentive to get you playing the game more. So for example, say that I played for 15 hours that week and you played for 5 hours. Well my contribution to you would be little and you would earn little coin. Whereas my coin earning would be greater and the contributions I received would also be greater because I invested more time. It's all based on time. You don't even need to play with these people, so time zone isn't even a matter. It just looks at your friends list, so if you have 20 people in your friends list, it will take the top 5, and those top 5 will be judged on the performance. It's that simple, and in all honesty, it's a nice little system saying thank you for playing and spending time in our world, and you're getting rewarded for playing the game and enjoying it and doing nothing out of the ordinary that you normally would. So the more you play, the more you're rewarded. Now that's not to say that clans won't be a thing, they absolutely will, just they are holding off on that for the time being as it's still under an NDA and they simply can't talk about it yet. It's expected for them to be talking about it over the next week or two, but as of right now there is no actual specific news for the clans as they simply aren't allowed to talk about it, but more news on that will come. So to summarise, you can have as many friends playing the game as you want, but the system only counts for the top 5 each week. Alliances are a way to reward you for playing with other players, but not literally with people. You just have to play and can play solo all week if that is what you desire. The top 5 people you play with each week, based on time played, will be your alliance buddies. Alliance buddies are separate for each player. I might be your alliance buddy, but you might not be in mine. It's completely different and it's randomly selected from your friends list. Alliances reset each week, so your alliance buddies will shift from week to week. Finally, you don't have to do anything for alliances to work, they just do. They are a natural intrinsic part of the game that rewards you as you play, and it's that simple. However, if you do have any questions about this or have any thoughts about this, leave it in the comment section below, and as always, I read every comment, I will get to it and respond in due course. Next we have some news. So last night I released a video showing you how to register and download for the VIP demo and whatnot. So there was a bit of confusion, especially on Reddit, where people were concerned that the PS4 wasn't going to get a pre-download on the 23rd. I'm not sure where this rumour came from, but it did send Mike Gamble in a bit of a panic to find out. So just before I went to bed, I have received the confirmation, and those that did follow me on Twitter did see it, and I have been seeing a bunch of retweets, so thank you for that, because the more people are aware, the better. But with that said, the PS4 is getting pre download as I tweeted last night on the 23rd as per all other platforms, so rest assured all is well. We also have a legendary drop to look at, Grand Entrance. Its intrinsic perk is actually quite special, increases duration of support abilities by 50%, that's pretty damn good. Upon landing creates an explosion at the point of impact. Iron Man is back baby. Pretty awesome, especially that 50% extra duration, that just sounds amazing. So your defensive bubble that you can put up that actually gives you 20% more attack will last 50% longer. If it lasts for 2 minutes, it lasts for a minute longer, that's pretty magnitude. Damage increase, the DPS gain from that is insane, so it seems legendary gear will actually reward you quite handsomely. You're definitely going to want to go for this stuff. We also have a question on Twitter from Alexander Frills. Does any element deal more damage to some enemies than others, like fire versus spiders? Then having responded, lightning and frost stronger on shields, acid and fire stronger on armour. So you'll have to decide what you're using based on what you're fighting. 
you want to be best prepared, having a balanced setup is going to be the way to go if you're going solo. If not, then if you're going as part of a team, then make sure you're covering all four bases so you can take those shields down as quick as possible. Next up we have questions about components and as you're aware masterworks and legendary items were supposed to have four inscriptions, however it's been noted that components will now have two inscriptions. Craig Chris asked, is this supposed to just have two inscriptions? I thought masterworks and legendary had four. Then having said inscriptions on components are kept at two. There are six components you can equip so it became too hard to balance. Still the same for gear and weapons which is at 4. Essentially even at 6 components you're looking at 12 inscriptions. If you had 4 of them, you're looking at 24 inscriptions. It will be a nightmare to balance that sort of thing. I can fully understand this. Maybe at a later date when we actually get a higher rarity, maybe that will increase the inscriptions. Who knows, but for now I think 2 is enough. You're getting 12 in total, so that should be plenty to customise your build to your heart's desire. And that's pretty much it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have, a like would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe, it really does help the channel's growth and with the way YouTube works, the more the channel grows, the more people notice, the more people notice, the more freelancers this gets out to. With that said, thank you for watching, thank you for being here, thank you for your continued support and until next time, remain legend.